it's Rob D360. Do you want to use a keyboard and mouse on your Xbox to play games, use apps and navigate the dashboard? Then there are multiple ways to do so. You can set it up with or without a converter and use it wired or wirelessly. But today we will mainly focus on how to set up a wireless keyboard and mouse on your Xbox, show you how it performs, but most importantly, talk about all the things you need to know before using a wireless keyboard and mouse on your Xbox Series X or S. Just make sure to hit the like button so more people will see this video and subscribe if this video helped you and you want to see more helpful content. One very important thing to know is that a traditional Bluetooth keyboard and mouse will not work. You need to use a USB dongle like this one to use a wireless keyboard and mouse on your Xbox Series X or S. Just plug it into the USB port and wait for several seconds, as they should connect fairly soon. You can choose between a keyboard and mouse combo that share one dongle or use separate ones. When you use one dongle, keep in mind there may rarely be some occasions where there will be some interruptions in the connection and you might miss an input, which can mess up your game and can be frustrating at times. Using two dongles, you will lose an extra port, but the chances are that the performance of the wireless keyboard and mouse will be better. The quality of the keyboard and mouse and the environment do have an impact on the performance, so using two dongles will not ensure that it will perform better. But you can always try it out. If you're experiencing a bad quality connection, but still want to use a keyboard and mouse on your Xbox Series X or S, you can always use a wired USB keyboard and mouse which you can check out on my channel. Once you've set it up, you can change the pointer speed and swap primary and secondary mouse buttons. If you go to profile and system, settings, and then to devices and connections. It's not much, but it's something. If you want more configuration options, your best bet is that the game itself, like Fortnite for example, has configuration option within the game. But don't expect this from all the games, because most developers did not intend players to play these games with anything other than an Xbox controller. That's because controller players just aren't as precise or quick and the developers want to prevent gaining unfair advantages. In Halo Infinite, it works a bit differently as you can filter between crossplay, which makes sure you won't be matched against PC players. Speaking of Halo Infinite, here's a 10 second clip followed by a multiverse and Fortnite clip. So you can get an impression of how the keyboard and mouse performs on the Xbox Series X. Here is Halo Infinite. Let's move on to multiverse. And here's the last clip about Fortnite. Moving on, when we look at the apps, the productivity apps work just fine. But the streaming apps like Disney, Netflix and the others only support a keyboard and not a mouse. Which is more than okay because the user interface is well built for that. The internet browser on the other hand works pretty good. Not as smooth or extensive as on a PC, but you can use your keyboard and mouse as you would expect. By the way, what are your thoughts of using a keyboard and mouse on the Xbox? Is it a good development or is it ruining gaming for console players? Also, would you like to see more development on it in the near future? If so, what kind of development? I'm really curious about your opinion, so share them in the comments below. That would be great. And if this video made you want to play on a keyboard and mouse immediately, but you don't know which games to play, check out this video about all the Xbox games that work with a keyboard and mouse. Just don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content, and we'll see you on the next video.